Hey guys, I'm Richard Neowin, and today we're unboxing the HP Elite Dragonfly. Um, so, I reviewed this last year. It's a little different now. Interestingly enough, it's not that different. So, um, kind of have to lay out the roadmap a little bit, because they announced G2 at CES. I'm not even sure if this is G2, or if G2's coming later. Okay, so... Here's the thing. The one that I reviewed previously includes uh, 8th Gen V Pro processors. That's in here, too. It weighs under a kilogram. So that's the biggest thing about the Elite Dragonfly is that it's a magnesium convertible, um, sort of a, a successor to the Elite Book 1030X360. It's a premium, you know, magnesium, and it's it's um, machined magnesium. So it's, it actually has a pretty premium feel. Um, but the thing is, weighs under a kilogram, so it's a super light convertible, and it is the world's lightest 13-inch convertible for businesses. So, part of the G2 refresh. So, here I'm going to tell you what's new in here. Okay, uh, tile integration. So, if you're not familiar with tile, you can use it to um, find the laptop. If you lose it somewhere in your house, you can, um, if you're connected, um, if you're close enough for Bluetooth. You can use it to, to ring the device, stuff like that. Um, you could also use it if you leave it somewhere out in the world. You can actually use the tile network to, to... You can either find the last place that it was turned on, and if it's not there, it can use the tile network to help find the device, which is pretty cool. Um, the other thing that's new here is a new SureView display. So that I'm actually excited about because I do care about these... Um, uh, privacy screens and SureView is the privacy technology and it's called SureView Reflect and um, it's technically Gen 4. It's a different thing than Gen 3. Uh, Gen 2, Gen 2, if you looked at it from an angle, the screen would look white. Gen 3, it looks dark. Now with Reflect, it reflects. It's kind of a copper color that it looks like and it's very cool. It's super useful if you tend to work out in public and you don't want anybody looking over your shoulder at what you're working on. SureView is always a great product. Um, Dell and Lenovo do have competing products. They're not as good. Um, also, I've never seen Dell or Lenovo seed one for review to anybody, not just me. Um, so that probably says something about the, the confidence in their product. Um, so other refreshes that are coming soon. 10th gen Intel Core processors, Comet Lake. So the reason Comet Lake and not Ice Lake is because it's a business laptop. Business laptops are all getting Comet Lake because um, they need V Pro and there is not going to be an Ice Lake V Pro. It's gonna be Comet Lake V Pro. Um, OEMs have been very clear about this. Intel hasn't announced it. Um, presumably this summer, Intel V Pro, uh, Comet Lake V Pro is coming because that's when all, like th these products have been announced. It's so weird with tension. So many products are being announced with new Intel products when the Intel products aren't announced yet. It's weird, but they're all slated for summer. So also 5G, 5G is coming and that's also coming this summer and that is not in this unit. So um, that's gonna have a Qualcomm Snapdragon X55 modem. And of course it keeps the Intel CPUs. Now, the unit that I had last time did have 4G LTE. It was very buggy. And sadly, they did not include the LTE in this one. And that kind of bums me out just because um, I wanted to see if it got better because I did send that unit back right after I was done reviewing it. So um, yeah, it was very unstable. And I've found that Windows on ARM PCs have the most seamless cellular connectivity that's out there just because, you know, it's integrated into the chipset. So I, I've seen other problems. Um, the LTE modem that was in this was an Intel modem. Okay, so let's start getting this open and we can take a look because this is a lovely PC. Um, there are really just those two changes to it from the last time I reviewed it. So, so I can tell you that I already know that it's going to be lovely. Got a return label and we'll save this instead of losing it like I often do. What's in here? Oh, we got a nice uh, a sleeve. I love it that HP sends sleeves. And you know what? I feel like it's a smart investment because I have had review units just in general where, um, you know, I banged it up a little bit and, and that doesn't happen if you send a protective sleeve. So let's get this open. All right, there we have it. This is... Nice. Yeah, so it is just a sleep. Um, 
we have a tile essential pack that came along with it. Comes with four tiles, which is pretty cool. Um, can you know you can stick them to things, and really, uh, I guess with the review they do want to kind of set you up with that ecosystem, so you're not just using tile for the laptop. You could kind of get the the feel for the whole tile experience. So. You can use these with all your devices or whatever. You know, um, the woman that briefed us says she actually has a tile on her dog. You know, so you could you could just like stick it on their collar. You know, it works. Um, so another thing that HP noted was that um, there's a lot of recycled materials in the Elite Dragonfly, and here we have it. But um. You know, they talked about ocean-bound plastics the first time around, and that's in the, the speakers. They committed to that. They committed to doing more. So another thing that we have now um, is that the 50% of the keys on the keyboard are actually made out of recycled DVDs, which is kind of cool. Um, so, so they talked about it a lot. There's a, a bunch of things that they're doing and using these recycled components. But... Um, yeah, I just wish I could see what uh, what movie I'm typing on. <laughs> you know, like, like they used to be in someone's DVD player. Uh, also in the box, we have got cable. We have got a 65 watt USB Type C charger. Uh, this is a really nice one, and HP does make nice chargers, which is a weird thing to focus on, but I appreciate it. I, I, I yeah. Um, it's got the, the braided cable here, so it actually looks nice, and it's also pretty sturdy. So the other thing that's in the box here is the pen. Um, that is something that we'll want if I can get it out of the box. The box is actually pretty heavy. Um, it, it's um, For such a light laptop, it's kind of, I think the box is actually heavier than the PC itself. Um, so let's get the pen out here. This some packaging that HP's got here. So yeah, this is the pen. Uh, it should, yeah, it uses a USB Type-C for, port for charging. That's right there. And what's cool about that is that you don't have to worry about a battery. Um, I really appreciate charging on pens. It's something that not everybody does. And it's, and it's something that HP doesn't always ship standard. They have another one that uses a quadruple A battery. And the thing about that is that, that these things are always kind of sipping power. So if you don't... If you don't use the pen much, you might find yourself in a situation where just every time you try to use it, it's it, there's no battery left and you got to replace the battery. So um, having a rechargeable one is nice. Plus those quadruple A batteries, like they're not that common. They're, they're um, you might not find them in your local drugstore or something. I mean, they'll have them in Best Buy. It's not like they're uncommon, but yeah, it's... Who wants to deal with that? You know, like, like I've never in my life had a single other case for quadruple A batteries than with a, a pen for a PC. So this color is called Dragonfly Blue, not to be confused with Poseidon Blue, which is what's used on the uh, Spectre convertibles, which is a consumer laptop. This is a business laptop. And, um, you know, you could see, like, like, you might be fooled into thinking that this is aluminum, um, just by how premium the design feels. And it's something that HP made a big deal about. Magnesium usually needs to be molded, and that's why it often feels very much like plastic. All right, here we go. I had to plug this in, and uh, I'm not sure if it'll do it again. It won't. <laughs> if, um, I guess if the battery is dead, um, it'll actually play the tile jingle, which is just kind of... Weird, just I guess the thing's dead. It just kind of lights it up, but um, yeah. So see how it says protected by HP Sure Start there, and um, so this device is very focused on security. Um, this is HP's. It, it basically checks the BIOS against like a Gold Master copy, and if the BIOS is corrupted, there's that tile jingle. Um, yeah, and I. <laughs> I don't love it. I hope I never hear that again. <laughs> All right. So this thing is um, an app caused a problem with your default browser settings. So it was reset to launch Windows app. All right. Um, yeah. So let's get rid of this stuff. There's a lot of HP stuff popping up. Um, yeah. So we don't really want any of this stuff and we don't want to worry about that. So 
Yes, I know that. All right, so we're just going to shut off notifications, which is one of the common things that I do when I, on a brand new Windows 10 installation. Um, I did have to sign into this. A lot of times we get... Um, yeah, so hopefully these will just stop coming up now. Um, all right, so... Um, I did promise an excellent laptop because I have reviewed this before. Um, I will show you what's new, but I'm also going to show you what's great about it. First of all, well, we have the keyboard. This is one of the best keyboards on the market. Um, you could just, it's not loud. It's not, um, it's, it's very comfortable to type on. It's very accurate. And I would say, and if you've heard about Lenovo ThinkPads, as a lot of people have, they're legendary for their keyboards. Um, ThinkPads are known as like the Cadillac of keyboards, and I think this rivals, if not exceeds, ThinkPad keyboards. This is my new favorite. And I first experienced HP's, uh, it's called Premium Collaboration Keyboard, with the uh, EliteBook 1040, the most recent one. Um, and now um, that keyboard has made its way to the Elite Dragonfly, and it's awesome. Um, audio quality is awesome. You see we got the BNO speakers on either side of the keyboard. Got a precision trackpad, which uh, HP has. It's a large trackpad too, which is awesome. Makes use of all the real estate that's down there. We have um, a privacy guard on the camera. So you turn that on, you see the little lines through there that shows that it's closed. The only thing about that, by the way, this this does have an IR camera in there, and it does have a fingerprint sensor under the keyboard. So. The only problem with that, those privacy guards is that if you have that closed, Windows Hello facial recognition doesn't work either. So you might have that closed all the time and then you forget and then you have to type a password like a barbarian when you log in. So um, that that's just one common issue that I've had with, with privacy guards. Um, so it's a solid display. It's under a kilogram, it's a very light machine. It's a convertible, and to have something so light as a convertible is awesome. You know, it feels good. So, let's take a look at what's new. Now you can see the display angle on this thing is, is it's it's not great. It's This is like a thousand, a thousand nit display, um, which is common for the SureView models. And even, with, we have SureView off right now, and even when SureView's off, it, there's, um, it's not perfect as far as display angle goes. Now, let's turn it on. All right, you can see if we just turn it, you start to be completely unable to see what's on the screen. You see it has that kind of copper tint. So the idea is it's called visual hacking. If anybody's trying to look over your shoulder and see what you're working on, they simply can't. And it's awesome. I mean, I, I'm someone who... When not under quarantine, um, I like to go to Starbucks and get some work done. And obviously, I don't want anybody to see what I'm working on. So, yeah. And if you're looking at it directly, it should be pretty much the same. Like, just, you know, anecdotally, you know, just from playing with it right now, um, I think it's better when it's on and looking at it directly than SureView Gen 2 was. I have not used, um, I have not reviewed a SureView Gen 3 laptop just yet. Um... I don't know if this, they don't always send these out. I was I was kind of upset they didn't send out SureView with the last units, which those were SureView Gen three at the time. Um, but hey, we can't we can't have everything. So um, yeah, so that's SureView Reflect, and then there should be a tile app on here. Yes, there's the tile app. Um, I'm not going to launch it right now. We do have to update it and stuff, and I have to run updates and all that stuff. So uh, we'll leave that alone for now. You get the idea of what it does. It helps you find your PC if you lose it. Look at all these HP apps here. Now, I, I showed Sure Start. Um, we have the Sure View display. There's Sure Sense. There's Sure Click. Um, sure Click protects you while you're browsing. Um, there's a whole bunch of security features that HP has been working on for for a while now. So so it's pretty mature, all these products. I'm not exactly sure what work well is. Ah, making your health measurable. All right, so that um, prompts you to sit, stand, and exercise at the right times. So that's pretty cool. Um, so that's something that's useful, especially when working from home, that you might actually uh, need reminders to be able to do this stuff. As far as ports go, it's the standard 
combination for a modern laptop. Uh, USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type A. There's a power button over here as well. Um, on by the way, this is where the Nano SIM slot would be if we had cellular on this model, but. It's just a dummy slot, which is what we usually get on on laptops that do have a cellular option. Two Thunderbolt 3 ports, which is always nice. And um, HP does keep them both on the same side. Um, and then, of course, we have HDMI 1.4. It's not 2.0. So, the display is 1080p. Now that's something to be aware of. SureView still doesn't come in 4K. The technology is there. When they announced SureView Gen 3 a while ago, which I believe was CES last year, they actually said that it supports 4K displays, which implied that there were some 4K SureView PCs coming, but they did not come. So uh, maybe that would be something that we'd see on an all-in-one first. But yeah, it's something that's simple to turn on. Like I showed you before, you just tap the one key and you could easily toggle it on and off. And um, yeah, so that's SureView and um, that's the Elite Dragonfly. So yeah, the, the, the interesting thing about this to me is that there really isn't much new. Um, I love that they, they sent me one with SureView because that was something I requested in the beginning. A lot of times what companies do is they'll tout these new features and then send you a review unit that doesn't have these new features because PCs, unlike phones, come in so many configurations, right? There's three display, four display options now because you get SureView Gen 3 or Sure SureView Reflect and then there's regular 1080p and then there's 4K. Um, which 4K, there's no SureView option. So, um, yeah, so um, cellular is obviously an option as well. And honestly, cellular should come standard as far as, and that's another reason I'm a big fan of Windows on ARM because um, it's 2020. Everything should just kind of be connected to the internet. You know, so um, so yeah, like, 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 like last time they touted uh, Gigabit LTE and SureView Gen 3, and like they didn't send the SureView. They did send the LTE. It was kind of specked out, and I really appreciated that because um, when you announce something new with all these features, like this is the features that I want to test. So um, these are the two new features we have right now. It's SureView Reflect and Tile Integration. Um, coming later is going to be 5G powered by Qualcomm. It's going to be sub-6 only. Which um, all the currently the Intel powered 5G PCs that have been announced that are still not out yet, they're coming this summer, they're all 5G only and they all use Qualcomm modems. Intel did announce a partnership with MediaTek. So those MediaTek powered ones that are it's Intel CPUs and MediaTek modems, those are coming in 2021. And, and there's no word yet on if those are going to be uh, sub six only, millimeter wave and sub six. Uh, the Qualcomm PCs with Qualcomm chipsets, those are millimeter wave and sub six, like the Yoga 5G. So, but I really think that's fine. Millimeter wave only works outdoors anyway, so I'm not sure how useful millimeter wave is gonna be in a PC, you know? Um, so, that's something that's coming this summer. Comet Lake V Pro is coming this summer, but um, right now we've got uh, SureView Reflect and Tile Integration on top of an already awesome laptop. And that's one of the reasons that, that I was willing to review this again when, I, when I've when i already reviewed it and, and it's there's only a couple new things is because it is one of the best laptops out there that I've... that It's one of the best laptops out there because I've reviewed <laughs> almost everything. Um, the keyboard is one of the best, if not the best, compared... Cause the competitor is Lenovo ThinkPad, which is renowned for being the best. And I, I do think that HP has actually beat it. Um, SureView Display is the best in its category. And um, it's under a kilogram, you know? Um, it's under a kilogram and it doesn't feel cheap. I'll tell you, a lot of these magnesium laptops feel very plasticky and HP really did an amazing job with this. And you might even guess that it's aluminum if you picked it up. And it doesn't sacrifice uh, sturdiness. It's still, uh, you know, meant to be handled roughly. You know, it should be uh, MIL STD A10G certified and all that. So I'll have a review on this in a couple of weeks. So stay tuned for that. I'm Richard Neowin. Have a great night.